This is Scott Ritchie with the Herald Review at Illinois State University's Redbird Arena, where Mount Pulaski just played Freeport Aquin in the Class 1A Girls State Basketball Championship game. Uh, Mount Pulaski put up you know, a heck of an effort, but Aquin came out with a 55-46 win, you know, knocking down their free throws at the end of the fourth quarter. You know, but uh, Mount Pulaski gave them a scare. Jessica uh, hit four three-pointers in the first quarter alone. Uh, the toppers were able to hold Sophie Brunner, Aquin's best player, you know, to just two points you know, in that first quarter, which is, is a feat for any team. But uh, Brunner wasn't going to you know, be kept down for long. Uh, she ended up with 33 points in the game, 12 boards. And, and whenever she got the ball on the block, you know, she was just really tough to stop. You know, she finished strong, uh, even against uh, several defensive looks that Mount Pulaski threw at her. Uh, she was just too much for the toppers tonight. But it was uh, a big runner-up finish, though, for Mount Pulaski. Coach Eric Lever said, you know, after the game, that not a lot of people picked his team, you know, to be at the state tournament and to not only, you know, you'll know, make it here but play for a state championship. You know, it was quite the accomplishment. I uh, ended up with 19 points, and she also had you know, several steals and assists. You know, rebounded you know well for for her height at 5'4". You know, she's definitely you know got in the mix of things. Uh, but Mount Pulaski just didn't have quite you know enough to handle Brunner and, and Aquin. So this has been Scott Ritchie with the Decatur Herald Review at Illinois State University's Redbird Arena for the Class 1A Girls State Basketball Championship game where Freeport Aquin beat Mount Pulaski 55-46. to Make sure you check out hrpreps.com for more high school basketball action and follow us at hrpreps on Twitter. Oh yeah, Sophie can, can turn it on whenever she wants to and she, and she did it today but I gotta give, give credit to my defense. They stepped out on number 4 and 11 and and when we went to man, that kind of slowed them down. Then we had to, for then we forced them to man, and that really opens things up for Sophie. You know, we talked about it, a lot of different things but before tonight at halftime, and uh, whatever look we gave them, they had an answer for it. And when they pulled it out, and we we don't play man to man very well, and we don't work on it, and that was, you know, when he pulled it out, I thought, oh goodness, we're in trouble, and uh, and they kept their composure. That's a great team, and. Uh, and we, we just couldn't stop them. They're, 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 they were the better team tonight. You know, in the locker room before the game, you know, we, we're probably a little emotional, but Matt Plasky wasn't supposed to be here tonight. And, uh, you know, the locker room, even at halftime, we were still, you know, attitudes, we're, we're, we were still good. Um, we don't have anything to be upset about. Nobody picked, nobody picked Plasky to be up here playing this weekend.